My name is Claudio Payne. I'm the owner operator of South Whitney Street Garage. And actually, today I'll be here 60 years. Yeah, I grew up in the north end of Hartford. Uh, my grandparents used to live uh, on Kenyon Street over here. I've been around in this neighborhood for a very long time. You know, from my childhood, actually. Well, I started working here uh, when I got out of the Marine Corps in 1962. I was in radio uh, and communications and shipped to shore and all that stuff. Uh, started this garage with my dad. I've always been uh, working on cars since I was probably around 12 years old. You know, I'll tell you, so, I've worked on so many cars that uh, it's really hard to uh, remember them all. You know, when we first started here, uh, that's when I started doing foreign car work, which uh, was really good, especially English sports cars, Jaguars, Italian sports cars, Alphas. And it's enjoyable to, uh, you know, somebody brings a sports car in or any car actually, and the knowledge that you got to repair it and send a customer on his way, he's happy, and uh, you know that you did a good job. Yeah, one time there was a couple of Hells Angel boys in town and uh, one of them had something happen to his bike. He, I know he got into a little accident or somebody hit the bike or something. And uh, so he was gonna, they were gonna be laid up here for a uh, couple of months while his bike was being fixed. And at that particular time, I needed a couple of guys. So I hired these guys and uh, they were good guys. They helped me out a lot on a lot of jobs. They knew their stuff. Being Hells Angels, you hear a lot of bad stuff about them, but these guys were, these guys were okay. In fact, one of them, that overhead door there, one one night it wouldn't close up. And my that's when my dad was working. He got up there to try to fix the jam there, and it's, all of a sudden the door moved and his hand got caught in the damn chain. And so the guy I had worked, his Harley guy, got up on the ladder and pulled the damn chain, you know, <laughs> to get my dad's hand out of there. And uh, they were here for a couple of months till the motorcycle was done, then I headed back to California. I think we're, we're losing a lot of uh, tradespeople, and we need to trade people, or else without the trade people, nothing's going to run. So, <laughs> you know, you can't press a button and a, and a house gets built, you know, <laughs> or uh, a toilet gets fixed, or a car gets fixed, you know. Somewhere along the line, you got to on those jobs, you got to work with your hands. You got to get hands on to get the final uh, thing done. So that's what I'm saying. You know, at least you know you're you're accomplishing something. You're getting something done uh, that uh, not many people can do, actually. But like I said, this is my last year. Time to uh, call it a day. Not today, but soon. <laughs>